how Michael Jackson met Jodie Chandler. Michael Jackson was one of the most famous and influential pop stars of all time, but his legacy was tarnished by allegations of child sexual abuse that surfaced in 1993 and 2003. The first boy to accuse him of molestation was Jodie Chandler, who was 13 years old at the time. How did they meet and what happened between them? According to a GQ article from 1994, Jackson befriended Chandler in May 1992 after the owner of a nearby car rental business offered him a free rental if he agreed to call his stepson, who was a fan of Jackson's music. Jackson called Chandler and invited him and his family to visit his Neverland ranch. Chandler, along with his sister and his mother June, stayed at Neverland for the first of several visits in February 1993. In late March, they began traveling with Jackson to places like Las Vegas, Morocco and Paris. During this period, according to the Chandlers, Chandler and Jackson would often sleep in the same room. The relationship between Jackson and Chandler raised suspicions from Chandler's father, Evan Chandler, a well-known Los Angeles dentist, who was divorced from June. Evan Chandler claimed that he noticed changes in his son's behavior and appearance after spending time with Jackson. He also claimed that he found a photo of Jackson in his son's room with the words to my true love Jody written on it. Evan Chandler confronted Jackson about his intentions and demanded that he end his friendship with Chandler. Jackson refused and accused Evan Chandler of being jealous and greedy. In July 1993, Evan Chandler took his son to see a psychiatrist, Dr. Mathias Abrams, who reported to the authorities that Chandler had disclosed being sexually abused by Jackson. Chandler gave a detailed description of Jackson's genitals and alleged that they had engaged in acts of kissing, masturbation and oral sex. The police launched an investigation and raided Neverland, but found no conclusive evidence to support the allegations. Jackson denied any wrongdoing and claimed that he was the victim of an extortion attempt by Evan Chandler. In August 1993, Evan Chandler filed a civil lawsuit against Jackson on behalf of his son, accusing him of sexual battery and seeking $30 million in damages. The case attracted massive media attention and public scrutiny, as well as support and criticism from celebrities and fans. The case was settled out of court in January 1994 for $23 million, with no admission of guilt from Jackson. Chandler refused to testify against Jackson in criminal proceedings, and the police investigation was eventually closed due to lack of evidence. Chandler has since disappeared from the public eye and reportedly changed his identity and moved to New York. He has not spoken publicly about the allegations or about Jackson's death in 2009. He has also been estranged from his family, who have given conflicting statements about his whereabouts and well-being. Some sources claim that he has recanted his allegations and apologized to Jackson, but these claims have been debunked by fact-checking websites like Snopes. His current status remains unknown.